So two years ago, Russia came into Ukraine and millions of Ukrainians fled, uh, coming into neighboring countries like Slovakia, Hungary, uh, Romania. And these women are at the border, their houses, homes, neighborhoods, families destroyed, not knowing where to go or who to ask for help. And our church here in Mishkolts were we were just wanting to help some way. So we went to the border that like very first week and the Red Cross and all of those other organizations were already there. And so we're like, ah, we're not gonna be able to help here necessarily, but we should find a way to help these women. And so we have these women who are at the border just completely just broken and saying, this is what happened in my village and my friends, my family, my neighborhood, uh, everything is gone and I don't know where to go and I don't know who to talk to, I don't know who to help, I don't speak Hungarian, I don't speak English, I don't speak, I don't know what to do and I have my kids with me and my husband is not allowed to leave the country because he's being um, kept inside the country for the war effort and so instantly overnight hundreds of Ukrainians are in different cities around Hungary and are just kind of, you see them just kind of sitting at coffee shops all day, not really having a place to be, no jobs are available for them, and they're just kind of existing without purpose. And so a friend and I, George, um, he started this uh, organization called Bridge UA, and this was about creating small communities around Hungary and greater Europe, uh, where Ukrainian-speaking women and their children um, who are refugees are able to find community and find hope in Jesus. We, we meet them with their basic needs like uh, groceries and helping them find apartments and helping them find jobs, um, bringing them together so that they can speak with each other and help each other, but also bringing their greatest need in Jesus to them. And Ukraine has been very nominal for a long time in terms of their religion. And so when all of this broke out, it really, really shook them to the core. A lot of these women were asking questions and how can this be or why is this happening to me? Like I'm, I hold so much pain. So George and his crew and now me are offering counseling to these women, trauma counseling. We're offering day camps for these kids. We're trying to give them some resemblance of their old lives. So we, uh, we buy them Christmas gifts. Easter, we would cook this giant me meal for all of these women. And over the last two years, we've been building these relationships. And now we're beginning to see that we're gaining their trust, uh, that they are allowing us to speak into their lives. And we wanna take the next step. And so actually this next month, in the month of August 2024, we will be renting a conference center. It's a Calvary Chapel Conference Center in Hungary, and we are going to be inviting 100 women and their kids out for four days to spend time alongside us. Because there's only so much that we can do in one of these afternoon activities or one of these afternoon like functions. Um, we really wanna spend a couple of days consecutively um, in a place that's peaceful and quiet and a place where we can really minister to them in a correct way and take that next step with them. I've seen the impact that war has had on these women and I can't not do something. And that's the purpose behind this coffee. We want to, we want to bring in money to have these conferences for these women.